So I can tell you that Brazil probably started in 1994 as an organized country. And since that moment, what we've seen is an explosion in the good sense of the agricultural output of the country. Uh, this year, we are finishing with an export in agriculture and agribusiness, 2013, uh, almost 110 billion US dollars of exports. And in 2000, or 13 years behind, it was 20 billion dollars. So it's, a, it's an incredible development in just 13 years, you go from 20 to 110. Diversifying markets, diversifying uh, the major products, so it's not only dependent on soya beans or, or in coffee as it was in the past, but now you have paper and pulp, you have corn, you have beef, uh, poultry. So this is a huge challenge in terms of uh, development for the country because most of these products are produced in the interior of Brazil where we face some constraints in terms of logistics, in terms of labor. Labor is becoming one of the worst uh, challenges for farmers nowadays because the country is almost facing a full employment. So labor is, is, is very expensive. We are lacking people. Uh, environmental laws became very uh, uh, strong in Brazil. Farmers have to set aside some areas and recover these areas with forests. Uh, depending on the part of the country that you are, it's 85% of areas that should be uh, recovered, like in the case of the Amazon. So this puts a lot of challenges also to the macro perspective of Brazil. But the overall picture is positive, mostly because of the traditional drivers that we see in world's agriculture today, which is the explosion in consumption growth coming from China, from India, from Asian countries that are not able to produce all the food they need. The demographics of population going to cities, the income distribution, and the growth. This all together produces, a, I think, a, a nice picture for agriculture in terms of, of challenges. Definitely, because uh, the surplus of agribusiness is like uh, 90 billion US dollars because it exports 110 and imports 20. And when you go to the surplus of the country, considering all the other business that we have in Brazil, that's 15 billion dollar surplus. So if you remove agribusiness from uh, Brazil, we go from plus 15 to minus 70. Uh, so there's no economic plan anymore. Inflation will come back. Exchange rate uh, will explode. So that's uh, what keeps the country. And finally, the government is recognizing that if someone if some business is important to Brazil, that's food and agribusiness. Well, besides uh, the traditional uh, labor problems, uh, let's say the um, cost of capital for farmers, environmental laws getting tougher, what we see is that uh, the costs are increasing in most of the farming production uh, activities because you have uh, uh, costs of land and all these costs all together are putting pressure over the competitiveness of uh, the farmers. So as a consequence of this is a concentration. So we see a lot of concentration going on, the large scale farmers uh, or the farmers that do a good management taking over the management of the land, not the ownership of the land. This is very important. It's a concentration in land management, which brings more competitiveness, more scale, and they can face the challenges of uh, uh, dealing with this cost increase that's happening in the country. The 85% of the population lives in urban areas and only 15% still remaining in farm areas. And the urban areas are uh, booming in terms of uh, construction, in terms of uh, services, business, and these are much more attractive for the people. So this is threatening farmers because they can't find people uh, to work in the farms, to harvest anymore. And the ones that they find, they are protected by one of the most terrible uh, labor laws in the world. That's the, the uh, in terms of uh, benefiting the labor. So it's a, it's a concern nowadays in Brazil, the labor point of view. So that's why mechanization should come and uh, uh, it's gonna be a challenge to deal with people. Yeah. We may expect in the next 10 years a real revolution in logistics going on to Brazil because a lot of international money will be interested in putting money there where you're gonna have the flows happening, the flows of grains happening towards the ports, towards the Asian markets. 
So we're going to see infrastructure really booming over there in the next couple of years. Yeah. Of course, the ones that have the better financial uh, conditions, uh, credit conditions, they can adopt the best uh, sources of technology that we have in the country. So we have at least 50% of Brazilian farmers that are uh, adopting like 8 to 10 units of technology when you consider an offer of 22 units of technology. So you, 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 we could see that half of our farmers are adopting only average technology that's available for them. So this brings the possibility of an increase in what I call in the vertical usage of the land. So not an horizontal expansion towards new land. We see the trading companies also coming backwards and acting as dealers because they have access to credit and to capital. So in order to build origination, they buy crop protection products and they give these products to farmers and then they pick up the production of the farmers so they guarantee the supply of grains. Uh, and you, see you have also the cooperatives, which is another channel for uh, uh, big uh, uh, crop protection or, or seed companies. And the cooperatives are also changing because they are getting much more professional. They are consolidating and they are diversifying to different regions of the country. So the channels, channels are challenging. And the other thing is you have uh, 25 farmers that are farming a huge amount of Brazilian's land. So that's a one-to-one -one relationship also. Because the farmers are uh, ahead of several uh, possibilities of selling their products, of producing more. They have access to world-class technology because most of the multinational companies operating in the US are operating also in Brazil, being genetics, chemicals, seed companies, uh, logistical companies, so it's uh, irrigation companies. So they, f they are facing a booming in what's going on. It's, it's a booming economy, booming uh, farming economy. And it's a new, uh, let's say, world-class elite or society coming in Brazil. As we can see, the, farm, uh, the farmers from the Midwest, now they are elite in the country, elite in the thinking process, in decision making. Uh, it's very powerful people coming to, because they're the ones generating the income of the country.